Hi, I'm Kash from Team Amexio. Today we're going to uh, give a brief demo about Amexio Canvas. Amexio Canvas is built on Decide 3D platform, uh, which actually um, uh, runs on 20 microservices, uh, multiple uh, database behind the scene with NoSQL database as well as relational database. And the two primary concepts of Decide 3D platform is the design pipeline and the uh, code pipeline. So design pipeline focus on from specification to design to uh, the committing the design to the uh, design repository and code pipeline is focused on um, creating the code base running the app and finally pushing the app to the production environment so this is the fundamental um, idea behind the design 3d platform and canvas is one of our products um, out of design 3d platform there are more products coming out uh, in, uh, in the future from a microservices perspective or microservices automation perspective and blockchain automation perspective so the first product from Desire 3D platform is Amexio Canvas. It's built on two primary pillars. The first one is the Amexio based on Amexio API, and second one is based on the Logic Flow, which is focused on building your business logic for your uh, uh, user interface. And Canvas built the user interface completely uh, based on Angular platform. What we released recently is the Personal Edition, which is a completely a drag and drop um, uh, uh, UI builder. And it's it's got hot deployment where your application uh, what all changes you make in the the canvas you can immediately see the changes in your application, and you can uh, connect back to your backend uh, already existing web services, and uh, you can see the data coming back on your form or, or or any of your UI widgets. Behaviors and relationship is part of the logic flow where you can build the business logic uh, on the on the from a UI perspective and then see the code is getting generated from that and you can see the live app with all the business logic up and running. Authentication is focused on ensuring that you know your backend calls are secured. So I'm handing over to Kathan Gote for a quick demo. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Kathan from MXO team. In this video, we are going to do a canvas demo. So let's get started. I am logged into the platform using my demo user ID and password. Once you log in on the home page, you will be seeing a various options like design pipeline, code pipeline, profiles and project. We are going to get started by creating a project first. You can see a uh, Almost 50 plus material design themes are available here for a selection. So you can select one of the theme and click on our next. And there you can do your source code configuration for a git. Your git can be your public and private. Once you save your project gets created and you can go to the canvas builder. On the new page we have provided uh, different templates which you can use for getting started quickly. You can see the canvas is divided into three parts. On the left hand side we have listed all the components which are available for you for drag and drop and create a beautiful UI. On the center it's a draggable area where you need to create your layouts with a different component. On the right hand side you'll be able to see a different controls or a different attributes associated for that particular component. As you can see, I have dragged a grid and adding a few columns to that. For example, I'm adding a columns like first name, last name, email and login. Once my column definition is done, we are going to add a data source where we can make a HTTP call, fetch the data and bind the data to the data grid. Here we'll be doing a column mapping. My column mapping is done. I'll save the UI and click on a project name. And you can see on the preview, your new UI is created where you can see the list of users with its data. Now I'll be showing you the concept like a hot deployment where we'll be adding few more attributes to grid and it will get immediately reflected in the preview as well. 
you can see now the filter is enabled so you can filter a data based on your particular criteria for that column now let's create one more ui where we'll be uh, creating a different form which can have a multiple form inputs so first you need to create a layout so we'll be creating a rows and columns layout where i am be having the three rows and three columns you can see my layout has got created now i'll be dragging a different text fields then radio group then i'll add a few more components like a email number field text field and start adding attributes associated to that particular component you can see i'm changing the attributes and it's getting immediately reflected now for the radio, radio group we are going to add a data source where i can have a gender as a male and female options so you can create a data over here so i'll create a array which will have a two objects one is male and one is female once that is done you'll need to do the mapping like what needs to be displayed on a radio and what should be the value field when it's selected okay now i'm saving and in the preview you can see the ui getting immediately created now let's let us add few more components into this ui where i'll drag a three drop downs first drop down can be your department then country and states we'll add, attaching a data source to this particular drop downs where it can fetch a data and bind the data to that particular drop down now you can see i am adding a ching a data source to a country once my service definition is done you need to map what needs to be displayed on a drop down and what needs to be value filled when it's get selected okay now in the preview you can see the new changes are reflected in the country you can see the list of available countries now what we are going to do over here is based on a country selection we are going to fetch the data for a states and show in the states so we have the concept like a behavior where you can have a different logical blocks so i am going to add a event like on select as you can see the logical blocks is divided into three section functions data and communication i have dragged the service and i am mapping the model with that so what should be the input for that particular service once now service definition is done what needs to be done after that so i need to update a model as you can see the ui is created in a given when then concept now my definition is then let me save and we can see the changes in the ui based on a country selection states will get fetched and get bind to the state okay now let me add a save action that is on click event to the save so on click of a, that particular save button i need to call employee save service and save the data to the back end i am doing a mapping over here now i am saving the ui let me add one record save it and that particular record will get immediately reflected in employee list you can see the demo user has been added we'll create one more ui where we will be creating a dashboard which can have a two different charts first is a company performance and the next can be your daily activity mxu has a different charts like a bar chart area charts so you can pick one of the them 
as per your requirement and attach a data source for that. You can see how I dragged the two, two cards. Into that particular two cards, we are going to drag a different charts. I'm dragging a bar chart. Let me add a name and title for that chart. And once my attributes are defined, I need to attach a data source for that. So let me do the service binding over here. I'm dragging now the pie chart and I'll attach a data source for that one as well. So I have attached the data source. Now you can save the UI and see the dashboard in the preview. You can see the dashboard where it has a two charts. First is company performance and daily activity. Now you can see all the source code which is getting generated over here under a code explorer tab. All the code is the white label so there is no any platform specific code and from here you can commit a code to your central uh, to the git repository you can see the code has committed to the github now we we have deployed this particular app on one http server so that shows that uh, the app or the code what we are generating it doesn't have any kind of the connectivity back to the platform and whatever the app we generate it's fully responsive design it can be your data list or it can be your any kind of the layouts or it, it can be your form as well okay now if there are any kind of the feedback suggestions or issues regarding the canvas you can always communicate to us using within from a canvas itself so in the canvas we have the feedback system integrated where you can highlight the particular area if you are having any kind of the issues then puts the comment for that issues and submit that ticket submit that particular issue once that issue has been submitted we will get the notification our, at our end we will be looking into that priority and will reply you as quickly as possible yeah i think that's it from me i hope you have enjoyed this particular demo and we'll be creating more videos on the canvas on how to create some different layouts using a particular component how you can create a data binding or you can how you can write more logical blocks thanks and have a nice day